Hello friends, all of you must hear about the word open source, but I think few of you who don't know what open source is. So open source softwares are those softwares, those source codes are available for end user. So suppose a developer want to add some new features in any software which is open source, he can easily add in that. There are a lot of open source softwares available for visual effects. I'll show you a few of them. So let's understand what is open source first. So as you can see, uh, the, the list of open source VFX application you can find out in opensourcevfx.org. So here you can see that Gopher application is there, which is listed. It's a very good application actually. It's a framework for developing tools for visual effects. It's originally created by Image Engine. So let's see if you want to see the code of this uh, uh, software. You can you can find link also over there. But we'll go to GitHub. GitHub.com is a website where all the codes for open source softwares available if the author created their repository over there so yeah most of them like github is a very good option because here you can easily fork the branch you can take the branch you can do some modification then you can commit and if authors see that this uh, changes that you made is good for that application he can merge in the main branch and it will become in the next release so we'll, we are not going deeper inside this concept of git we can just browse the code of gopher here like the first option is gopher that's why we are because we have other options also for open source like blender blender is complete open source software uh, you can use it you can change any options over there you can modify anything inside this or yeah according to your production needs you can change a lot of things in there so it's, that means it's open for end users developer like that uh, we have cgru uh, software which is for render farm and other uh, like dailies application it's it you can send that there are some cg package tool which is completely open source and you can you can download the code for this also like here the sources are available so with that source you can do some modification and you can rebuild that so you can use that in your pipeline all right so linux linux is also a open source project so centos uh, is actually created from red hat open source code so red hat created their os and they released the source code centos take the source, source, source code and did some modifications and released their version so like that if you want to create your own os you can just fork the codes of centos and you can rebuild the new operating system linux operating system from this source code so source is very good you can see that like that uh, there is MariaDB, uh, it's a uh, new database system, which previously it was MySQL. And since the MySQL takeover by Oracle, so MariaDB created and it's pure open source application. That means still you can change anything if you, if you according to your needs. And yeah, the, co the codes are available for, for developers, for end users and whoever want to look at that. All right, so let's go and check that what source codes looks like and how the software looks like open source software. So we'll search Gopher. Uh, we, we can actually directly go from here also because they said the GitHub link also there. But if you have like you can search the code. Yeah, like you can see that image engine repository. If you click on that and there all the codes are so like if you want to search you can go to like include and these all are raw header files you can see these codes and you can do your modification according to that you can use this file you can uh, you can download these codes in your system 
and do like for python also like there are some codes like if you can go see so yes so these are the codes for gopher and let's see how the gopher looks at it's very good software uh, I started gopher <coughs> all right so here you can see this gopher is node based application it's a framework for visual effects pipeline tools uh, basically develop on the top of Coltex library which is also created by image engine and the community over there you can find out more in image engine repository this cortex cortex is the library for visual effects development and gopher is an open source application framework for creating tool using visual effects production so it's very good sounds in interesting and uh, let's see how this gopher work so it's a it's a it looks like nuke software but okay but we'll go to the point gopher test so you can import an alembic file you can select it's like outliner or scene view or uh, the navigation is like Maya and you can play that and all nodes also there are several other nodes you can if you press tab you can see there are list of bunch of other nodes you can use the channel transformation share uh, image processing you can use so it's very good to explore I'll cover the gopher application more deeply in, in a couple of next videos but here we are talking about the open source so this is completely open source software you can use it and develop it and let's see if you want to develop some new feature inside this you can go to gopher and make sure you should in your login account so here I am in my login account I can fork this so what forking means like I will fork this repository in my repo and I can do commits in this alright so for git also don't go inside uh, we'll take care of that also if you uh, have any doubts regarding uh, like this codes viewing in github you can just google it out it, it will be very easy it's not that much complex uh, for blender also uh, as I mentioned it's very good software like if we go to blender here you can do modifications in this application also this is free open source and if we are talking about other open source software like uh, there are apple seed which is also very good here you can see this open source photorealistic rendering software and if i give you a quick introduction so let's see if <coughs> we have a scene here we'll start interactive rendering and uh, and if we want to see any passes with that like I want to see the tangent pass so you can see in a viewport like interactive way and if you want to see the occlusion so ambient occlusion you it will display all the so this is very good apple seed is very good for realistic rendering uh, you can check out the website also apple seed uh, it's in, it's also in the development stage but it's pretty good uh, working good with blender so for blender uh, there is a plugin called blender seed which send the blender data into the apple seed we'll discuss about that also uh, so this is completely open source you can find out the codes over there in their website and yeah you can you can do uh, development with with the uh, main authors also so I hope you understand what this open source is and uh, go and participate in open source programs it's very helpful to contribute uh, in technology to make a good software uh, to make good platform for all the artists 
so i hope with this uh, you can uh, go with this uh, website also this is pretty good for for a good reference where you can find all the open source vfx applications in one place so uh, if i if i got any new information regarding open source and all i will share with you so up to now thank you very much see you in bye